Hey there friends, what is up? I'm Chris Ewing, educator, fabricator, and grown up theater nerd. Now you can see behind me, we got the whole rainbow going. We got Miller and Everlast and Lincoln and Aesop, but we're not gonna do a head to head comparison. The purpose of this video is actually to introduce you to a new and exciting product, The Beast. Cool name, cool package. What the heck does it do? It's about the same size as some of these welders here. This is a battery power source capable of running any one of these machines. Let's take a closer look. All right, so before we power it up, let's take you for a little tour of the front side here. As you can see, this is the Beast 1200. 1200 is actually indicative of the kilowatt hours available in the battery size here. Now we've got the 1.2 kilowatt hour, we've got the 3.6 and the six kilowatt hour version. So they just get bigger and heavier and last longer. On the front side here, you can see we've got not two, but actually four 120 uh, GFCI 20 amp power sources. And then over here, we've got our 30 amp with our NEMA 50 amp 240 volt plug. Now we can't operate both of those at the same time. You either choose 120 or 240, but when in 120 mode, you do have all four plugs available. And in 240 mode, you've got pretty standard plug size there. All right, so let's check out the back side here. We do have our on off switch, so that's the main power. And then we have the selector on the front that will choose between 120, 240. Got ourselves a little ethernet plug here, so we gotta do some software updates or anything. I assume that's what's good there. A grounding plug in case that's necessary for anything. And then our charge port for the included charging cable. This plug type is the NEMA 650, which is a 50 amp capable plug, but the breaker regulates it to 30 amps of draw, just to be clear on that. Whereas over here on our 120s, they are GFCIs. They are the 20 amp GFCIs. So they've got that little plug that uh, is rotated 90 degrees from standard. And we do see we've got our 20 amp breaker buttons right there in the front. Power it on in the back. And let's select 120 volts. There we see beast powers up, got 100% charge, and we're running 120 volts right now. It's showing that currently we have almost no amp draw on it, and we're getting the internal temp as well. Let's go ahead and switch it over, off. You hear the fans kick off, and it gives us a picture of what was last displayed up there. Click it over to 240. All right, now we can see it's displaying that we're at 240 volts, still at that 100%, and our temperature should be just about the same. Okay, so we're starting in the back here to show that it is not plugged into anything. They call it the beast, they call it Pinocchio, because there ain't no strings on me. So let's go ahead and plug some stuff in. We'll plug one in over here. Let's plug one in over here. Set it to 120. Now, do I recommend dual wielding grinders? No. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yeah. Nothing. What did I do wrong? Told you they're GFCIs, right? They were both tripped. Let's see. Unagi power.
All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and run through each one of these. Now, the purpose of having all these is to showcase that it's not brand specific, it's about power draw. It's designed for continuous use at 5,000 watts, and it will peak at 10,000 watts for about five seconds or so. So we're gonna run through the Miller 220 AC-DC. Uh, we'll do some MIG welding, maybe some stick welding with that one. We've got the Everlast Power Pro 205 SI. We're gonna do some stick welding and probably some plasma cutting with that guy. Next up, we'll hit the Lincoln uh, Power MIG 210 MP. And then we'll try our ESOB EMP 285. Uh, we're gonna run all of these on the 240 volts. Uh, some of these are multi-voltage machines, so they'll run on the 120 or the 240, but if you have 240, why wouldn't you use it? So let me get suited up and we'll get into it. All right, first up, the Miller Multimatic 220 AC-DC. And we are at 18.2 volts with a wire speed of 293 inches per minute. Got some 70S-6 wire in there, 035 diameter, and we're using the 7525 shielding gas. All right, so no manipulation, just a straight push. 8th inch material powered right through it. Close up on the weld quality here. Looks great. So four inches of weld, we were at 100%, we're now at 97%. All right, let's switch it over to quarter inch. Now this puts us at 21 volts and 355 on our wire speed. All else stays the same. Beautiful. It's an awfully nice bead. All right, let's switch over to the Everlast Power Pro. All right, so while the Beast is actually still running, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our Power Pro machine here. Plugged in, powered up. set it for stick welding. We're gonna use the same quarter inch material, eighth inch, 7018 uh, Lincoln Excalibur rod. Dig around 30% and 125 on our amperage. Okay, so only did about two thirds of the weld this time. Bead looks great. So I left that last inch open, because now what I'm gonna do, we're running at 125 amps, right? Well, for this particular machine, it maxes out stick welding at 160 amps. So, can the beast power this eighth inch 7018 electrode at its max capacity, 160 amps? Let's find out. Awesome, did that last inch. I still got plenty of rod here. Let's go ahead and do another pass. Now, I will note that I would not generally run an eighth inch rod at 160 amps like this. This is less to test the quality of the weld and more so to test the quality of the beast. All right, burned it down to about two inches. 160 amps, no problems. All 
All right, so let's switch it over for plasma cutting and see how that goes. All right, so we've got the Power Pro all set up for plasma cutting. I'm gonna leave this set for 30 amps. That should be plenty of power to cut through this quarter inch material. Let's see how it goes. Like butter. Power MIG, you're up. Plug in to 10 MP. Back on at 240. Settings, nominal for eighth inch material, 035 flux cord wire is 19 volts and 200 inches per minute. <laughs> okay, so it's in there. That was a very hot weld. Not too shabby. All right, let's boost the power. 370 and 22 volts. Sure, why not? Boy, steaming. All the way up to 25 and 500. It's the max this machine will do. Whew. Cooking my glove. It's hot. For this, just wanted to max the machine out. Show that, yeah, it will run. Max settings. All right, so last up for demo, we are going to use the ESOB EMP 285 IC. Now, this is what I would consider a bit more of a medium duty machine. So I'm pretty sure we can push the beast to its limits uh, as we increase here. We're going to start out with eighth inch material. I'm at 18.5 on my voltage. 180 on my wire speed, we should be just fine right here. There we have it, another four inches of weld. No problems at all. Let's try 19 and 225. All right, 19 and 225, we got about an inch and a half a weld out of it before we must have peaked. Um, I don't think we popped the breaker, so I think we were pulling over the wattage allowance for that particular mach uh, machine. So that's four different brands and styles and cutters and welders and all kinds of stuff. So it will power it all, it's awesome. I'm sitting at 59% right now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on a cart. Uh, I owe my buddy over at Frank's Firewood a uh, wood rack, seeing as how he donated the wood for our smoker build. Uh, let's take it out in the parking lot and build something with it like you would out in the field with one of these guys. So we moved our setup to the outside. I went ahead and grabbed the uh, power MIG because it's set up for flux cord if I'm gonna be outside. There is nothing attaching this to any power source of any kind. It's just the beast. And here we're sitting at 59%. Let's go ahead and get it switched on for 240. And go ahead and get that plugged in. Fires right up. All right, let's build something. I was able to build this whole wood rack, did all the testing on one charge on the 1200, keeping in mind that's the smallest battery capacity that they're offering. 
Uh, there's a 36 and the 6000 also. Managed to do all of that on one charge. It's down to 6%. The thing kind of outlasted my phone, so I guess it's just time to plug that bad boy in. Look at that, charging. So it's been my pleasure to introduce y'all to the beast. Keep your eyes open for this and that weld.com app. Until next time, hope this helps.